So, Mars floats. I've never used one before, but recently I thought I'd give one a try. After all, in a strong breeze, having one may actually give you an advantage. They may not be the most aerodynamic of objects, but their effect on your speed would be minuscule in strong winds, and they have a big advantage that you avoid wasting ages turtled or with the mast stuck in the mud. But all the mast floats I've seen for sale have been ridiculously expensive for what they are. £50 seems to be the average price. So, being the stingy fellow I am, I decided I'd have a go at making one myself and make a video for you guys while I'm at it. Before we begin, legally I should probably say that if you create a mast float using the instructions in this video, I cannot guarantee it will stop your boat inverting. The mast float's performance will be hindered by conditions and strong tide, wind and swell, or incorrect procedure. So, with that out of the way, let's begin. I started by asking a Facebook group for their ideas for DIY mast floats. There were all sorts of interesting ideas from a buoyancy aid to an inflatable duck. But in the end, I decided to go with the most popular choice, the good old milk bottle. All I needed for this was a milk bottle, some electrical tape and a piece of rope. Total cost is about two quid, so just 48 quid cheaper than buying one. You can pay me for saving you the 48 quid by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. So the first stop was my local supermarket. I found the largest capacity bottle they had which was 3.5 litres or 6 pints. Since buying it I've been told that milk cows can be pretty badly treated, so organic milk maybe has better welfare standards and if you're concerned about that I'd go for that. You could also use any other type of bottle so long as it has the right capacity and has a handle. So once you've got your milk bottle give it a wash out. I made the mistake of leaving it for a week and it didn't smell too good afterwards. So make sure to give it a good wash before you use it. The next step is to put the lid on tightly and wrap some electrical tape around it to make it more watertight. Then tie a bow in around the bottle handle, attach the other end to the eyelet on the head of the sail. So, time to put it to the test. Note this is just a 3.5 litre bottle compared to the roughly 10 litres of most other mass floats. So it will be interesting to see how it does. So I capsized the boat on the jetty and at first it seemed to be proving up to the task. But it was lying low in the water the night of light. The solo mass is relatively heavy compared to other dinghies, so although one 3 litre bottle should be fine for holding it while you ride the boat, I thought I'd see the difference between one 3 litre bottle and two 3 litre bottles. Luckily, I had another bottle available which uh, used to hold hand soap. I attached this to the milk bottle with the rope running through the eyelet on the top of the sail. But the problem with tying it like this is if one bowling comes undone, you'll lose both mast floats. So a better way to do it would be to tie them each separately to the eyelet. Two bottles made a notable difference. They were able to hold the mast high in the water for a prolonged period. So if safety is your main goal, I recommend using two bottles. But if you just want to get the boat up earlier from a cap size, one should be okay. Out of interest, I borrowed a 9 litre mast float to see how it compared. Upon testing, it held the mast well, but not any better than the two milk bottles. It floated slightly below the water level, which probably could have been improved had I tied it on better and blown it up a bit more. So, what's better? From my point of view, it's a clear win for the milk bottle. I'm yet to test it out long term, so my view could change, but the £50 mast floats don't seem worth the price tag. Let me know your ideas for mass floats. I'm sure there are some good ideas I've not thought of. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm. Until my next video, happy sailing.